Hi there, it's Bella. Welcome. It's May 5th, 2012, Saturday, and we have a full moon upon us. A super full moon. So I'm very excited. And I chose this evening to drop this video because we are now um, at the number third car of the tarot, which is the number two high priestess. And um, the high priestess, she's all about the mystery and she is ruled by the moon. One reason why I wanted to drop this video today she is the mistress of the moon and um, I love this image I selected this image from um, a deck I have because I just loved all the colors in this image the purples and the moon looks like that super moon that we're gonna have tonight <laughs> okay. I don't know why I I know you all know I kind of love the moon but um, I just feel this image is just beautiful and you know the high priestess is the wise woman and she's all about intuition all about the intuition and that's one reason why we're trying to work with these videos to see how we can also start tapping that intuitive nature whether you're man or female doesn't really matter obviously but the high priestess is all about intuition and again because she's the mistress of the moon ruled by the moon she you know is in the subconscious area she's about secrets and um, she has an understanding that it's she has a wisdom that she knows the cycles of nature and she knows about the stars and she knows about there's so many things I resonate with this arcana card I have always been allured by the high priestess personally so this is what we're going to read about tonight okay and I will put the high priestess from the um, the other deck that I've been using I think it's the weight deck here we'll just put her in here in her situation and now we know that the the fool's journey but as we like to say the initiate did meet the magician last time and now we're going to introduce him to the high priestess and the decks I chose today to do the reading the two other cards coming will be from um, the sacred circle tarot by Anna Franklin and Paul Mason okay the sacred circle tarot and then I chose the tarot of mermaids because since the high priestess is ruled um, by the moon and the moon is um, the water element I figured okay let's just bring the little mermaids out okay so we're going to start the reading and choose the first deck which will be the sacred circle deck and this is the back of the deck okay and um, oh, let's see okay looks good alrighty so as usual we we want to concentrate on the high priestess and obviously with this alignment we have tonight hopefully she will bring us her divine creative wisdom and give us some good information well the star wow the star here we go well, that's lovely. We got that on the first reading. We got the star and temperance. And the star is about hope. So I like it. I like it. We're getting very nice. I, I do like it because it's just, again, reassuring that, you know, we're going in the right direction. And this is a lovely card, too. But hope. So obviously the initiate has hope on his journey and we need to have hope and faith. They are living things like breathing. So very good. I, I feel very confident now that the high priestess is leading the initiate, initiate 
and expressing the initiate to have hope in his journey or her journey, obviously, our journey. Okay, well, let's see what the mermaids have to say. I do like that. And here's the deck of the mermaids. And this is the high priestess on, I meant to show the high priestess on the other one, but. Okay, and again, we're going to get grounded. We have this moon, the water. I live by the ocean. I'm very fortunate. I show my gratitude every morning when I wake up with my positive affirmations. And uh, But it does give an energy that is, to me, amazing. So I'm very blessed in many ways. But let's see what the mermaids have to say. Okay. And we have here, let's see, I can't really tell. Oh, what? Is it the same card here? The temperance card. Isn't that fabulous? The temperance card. That's what we got on the first video. We got the star and the temperance together. And here we have her again. Wow. I, I'm just trying to that's fabulous. Definitely uh, uh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And the temperance is about patience. Patience and hope. Um, I'm just a little, you know, feeling good about this because it's confirmation from the first uh, video, but I'm just, uh, I'm smiling. I'm happy, but uh, to have two cards come out is, um, I don't know, I like it though. But here we go. The message from the high priestess to the initiate, the fool on the journey, is uh, hope and patience. Patience and hope. And isn't that what we need every day in our lives to have a structure and, and to have make those things manifest for us and um, you know release what is not necessary or, or serving us a proper way and and we move on to the hope and and the patience that we have and then the faith comes throughout too and and that's how we make dreams come true okay well I hope you like this reading I'm enjoying doing these videos for all of you um, I really do. Okay, well, again, have a lovely evening and uh, go outside and check out that full moon. It's going to be superb, intense. You guys have a great night. Take care. See you next time. Ciao.